from Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello and good morning. Happy Friday to you. I'm James Tully. Let's get to your ABC Action News headlines. First up this morning, state health officials reporting 6,100 new COVID-19 cases and 120 additional deaths. We've now seen more than 1.9 million total cases since the start of the pandemic. The statewide positivity rate for new cases, health officials say the rate is just under 5.4%. Health experts want it below 5% to slow the spread, but that's one of the lower figures we've seen in quite some time. Governor Ron DeSantis now says all Florida school employees and child care workers, no matter what age, can get the coronavirus vaccine. This does follow the Biden administration's latest mandate for every state to prioritize educators in their vaccine rollout. We talked to one local teacher who got her shot at the new federally funded vaccine site in Tampa. She says it's a huge sigh of relief. The enthusiasm and um, just the excitement that we're going to be able to start moving forward now and getting back to normal. The announcement comes just days after Governor DeSantis issued his own executive order, which allowed all school employees 50 and older to get that vaccine. We have the links and phone numbers to make appointments in the locations offering vaccines posted on our website. You can find this article right there on our homepage. Also new this morning, today the new Midtown Tampa development taking a big step towards our city's rebound. Tampa's first REI store is opening at 275 in Dale Mabry. Got a sneak peek inside too. The store should bring about 50 jobs, estimated to bring nearly 6,000 jobs when the entire development is finished. It's also going to be a jogging trail in a commons area for people to hang out. This weekend, you can check out the 2021 Florida Strawberry Festival, but you should expect some changes because of the pandemic, including air scrubbers inside all buildings. All headline entertainment has been canceled. You can find hand sanitizer and hand washing stations throughout the festival grounds. The 11 day festival runs through the 14th. Now here's Greg D with your forecast. And that forecast looking really good for today for the Strawberry Festival. Not so good as we start off the weekend. Take a look at your hour by hour planner for today, starting off in the 50s and 60s on our way to the mid to upper 70s this afternoon. No clouds out there. It's just going to be a gorgeous day with maybe some high clouds increasing during the afternoon. But overall, this is going to be the day you want to get outside as we head into the weekend and that's because we're going to see the moisture start to increase late today it's still dry i'm not expecting uh, much in the way of humidity and the winds will be light too so getting out on the water getting out to the beach all looking good in terms of your forecast with those highs in the upper 70s. Tracking big time rain to start the weekend. Your seven day forecast posted right now in the ABC Action News app.